You know where you are. This is Nollywood Pictures too. I see true love. I see disaster. I see hate. I see betrayal and revelation. I can't really define your daughter's destiny with Prince Ken. Those two love each other. But I can perceive danger. Danger? Should I stop her from getting close to the prince? Never. Those two can never be separated. Action. Never. Those two can never be separated. It seems your daughter will play a vital role in the palace to cleanse the dent of the past. She will bring crisis to the royal hood. And she will equally bring progress. Hmm. Akrika, please clarify her destiny with the prince so that I can... Woman, I will advise you to allow the will of the gods to be done. Allow the will of the gods to be done. Hey, well, I want to be on a million, la, la, no, Lisa, my daughter. Um, since your fiancé is back, I think you should pay him a condolent visit. Yeah, I actually have that in mind. Mm, I can see. <laughs> at last, I'm happy to see my daughter brush. Look at her. Hey! <laughs> Oh, you didn't Uh-huh. Oh, you Yeah. Mom, can you just stop teasing me already? Oh, you are blushing. Ah, shut up. It's the sad thing is that, I mean, the death of um, his father really weighed him down. You know, and I really pray that the gods will give them the fortitude to bear this loss. Amen. The elders will come tomorrow for your father's daily arrangement. They demand that you must come back before they restart. That's a good thing I'm here already. That deserves a defeating there. That's unfortunate. My heart is soaked with tears. I came home to see my father. Only to meet his demise. That's so painful. We are all affected, my son. No, no, no. I am more affected. I've been a bad son to father. I've been a very, 
very bad self. But all the same, Father loved me with all his heart. I was hoping I'll come home to beg for his forgiveness, but no. That took him away so fast. Too bad. My son, there's always a moment of happiness and sadness. Your father loved all his children equally. He has even forgiven you long ago. The best you will offer him now is to follow his footsteps. I will try my best, Mom. Okay. I will make Father proud. Okay. Yo, baby. Um, I want to say thank you again for accepting my proposal. Aww. You're always welcome, my love. Thank <laughs> you. I'm thank happy you. that I'm all yours now. I'm happy too. I'm happy too. <laughs> oh, come here. <laughs> so, all I'll right. see you. Oh, oh. Yeah, sure. Take care of yourself. Sure. Hmm? And you too. Okay, bye. All right. wrong with you? You have been like this since yesterday and it's beginning to worry me. There's nothing to worry about. Mama, when did you start hiding things from me? And what do you think I possibly have to hide from you? Nothing. I'm fine. Are you sure? I'm sure. Please, I want to be left to me. She's hiding something from me. I think something is wrong with her. I will definitely find out. Uh -huh. I'll find out. My friends, I said for our condolence and we wish you peace, love and love. Just know that we are solidly behind you. We have our support. 
thought. Never thought. Especially now we are mourning. Yeah? Yeah. Thank you very much. My prince, my heart grows to you all at this difficult time. I'm wishing you all the best. And you know you have my full support. Yeah? It's often hard to find the right words to you at the time like this. May you all have peace, comfort, and all the joy in the years to come. Yeah, yeah. My friends, I pray that the gods will give you all joy and peace. And I also pray that the gods will give you all the fortitude to be of this great loss. Your father was indeed a great man. And he loved you so much. My friends, please accept my sincere condolences. Thank you all very much. Thank you. You know, finally, the Mars Lupino has disappeared. I'm so happy to have you here with me. If you want to know how much I missed you, try to catch raindrops. Oh. The ones you catch is how much you miss me. Oh, wow. And the ones you miss is how much I miss you. <laughs> you know, meeting you was fair. And falling helplessly in love with you was totally out of my control. You are the one whom my heart finds. You are the one whom my mind reminds me of. You're the one whom my destiny wants. And I love you so much. I believe every word that comes from your mouth. You shouldn't do this. And you should pay you. That is lost respect. You never back down on your principles. Thank you for being such a Great elders of my land, I really appreciate you all for your efforts, contributions, and support towards my father's burial. May the gods bless you all. My prince, our king was very good. He deserves more than we did for him. As a matter of fact, everybody in our kingdom knew that he was a very wonderful king. What we are asking is for his soul to rest in perfect peace. Yes. Um, please, I want you all to exercise patience with my mother and my brother. They will soon join us. No problem.
Wise one. To what do we owe this sudden visit? I know why I asked the elders to step aside. Because this message is strictly for the royal family. A toad does not run in broad daylight or not. It's either you pursuing something or something is pursuing it. I'm only a messenger of the gods. I'm here to deliver a message to all of you as demanded by the gods. A message? So what could that be? And when I do ya no na miri o lala And when I do ya no na miri o lala And when I do ya no na miri o lala de we And when I do ya no na miri o lala de we The God's demands that Prince Charles must marry a virgin Or you will lose the throne And what do you mean by that? You must marry a virgin to be qualified to be the next king of this great land. If you mistakenly, I repeat, if you mistakenly marry a woman that has been deflowered, you will lose the throne to your brother without any compromise. But why? Ever since the customs and traditions of this land, such demands has never been given to the previous royal family. Why ours now? Ajuzogwe, Iba Mandemwa. Ajuzogwe, Iba Mandemwa. Enona na Ajuzogwe, Iba Mandemwa. Ajuzogwe, Iba Mandemwa. I'm only a messenger of the gods that have delivered my message. Take note, if you go contrary to this, you all will face the wrath of the gods. Prince Ken, why would Prince Ken try to rape you in your dream? What could be the interpretation of this dream? Mom, I'm very much confused. Connie, come. Rest your head. You know what you do for me now? You go inside and rest your head, okay? Just be careful. Be careful. Hmm. The past is gradually coming back to hurt my daughter. Should I tell her about the past? No. Some pasts are better left untold. Oh. 
How did he go with your brother? Mother, Charles is very devastated. He doesn't want to believe a single word that came out from Africa's mouth. He even called him a bloody liar. He vehemently condemned Akrika's message. I would advise Charles not to mock the descent of the gods. He cannot go against their will. He cannot. You are right, mother. But I'm afraid war this may amount to. Yes, from my observation, he thinks I am applying politics. He is perceiving a foul play of which I tried to correct him, but he pushed me out of his room. He did? Yes, he did. Now pushed you out of his room? Yes, he did. Mother, you have to go and talk to him. He is your son. Go and talk to him. Yeah, that is exactly what I'm going to do. How can Charles be behaving like this? Eh? We don't have to lose this throne. We cannot. You have to, if it warrants you to break the door, break the door and talk to him. I don't know why he doesn't want you to talk to him. Oh, he did something very drastic. You see this Mirabel of a girl? She's a green snake under the green grass. Yeah? From the look of things, she has charmed Prince Kenny. She keeps visiting him without notice. Huh? Oh, what is your problem with Daddy? Eh? Everything is the problem with her. In fact, I hate that girl. I hate the fact that Prince Kenny keeps giving her much attention. Huh? Wait. Are you jealous? What kind of a stupid question is that? Because I'm here to see where your anger is coming from. Well, it's over that you don't have time. You are senseless, you are very stupid. Because without being told, you don't know that I'm the only outstanding and beautiful medal that is meant for me. Don't know. <laughs> <laughs> keep dreaming. <laughs> I should keep dreaming at least. I don't blame I you because you don't have you don't have sense. You don't have sense. Outstanding. <laughs> No, of course, my fault. Why will the gods take such decision? Oh, careful. The gods knows better than us. I believe in full sure. We will comprehend why they make such decision. Hmm. Anyway, who are we to question the decision of the gods? The ways of the gods are not the ways of men. Hmm. That's your cookie. Well, that is true. Hmm. Someday we'll. This is unbelievable. I have never had such a thing in the history of this kingdom. You are right. Akrika has been a faithful mouthpiece of the gods to this land. He has been faithful to us. And I think his message should be taken seriously. But from what you told me, your brother is in a serious relationship. What if she's not a virgin? That is where I am having a very big problem with my brother. He thinks I plotted this with Akrika. What? Yes, I know how his mind works. Everything to him is a competition. He can be very selfish and insensitive. You know, there is no competition in destiny. I can remember when he was always jealous of the way your parents praises a good character. All I just want is 
to make peace with my brother. I pray to the gods of this land to give me the wisdom to handle this. I feel your pain, bro. Don't worry. The gods of our land will hear your cry. Mother, it's time you want Charles. It's time you caution him because I've had enough of his excesses. Can you imagine? He is now referring me as a green snake under a green grass. Why would he have such negativity about me? Why? Your brother prefers the throne to his life. I don't understand you, mother. I will explain to you later. <coughs> mother. What is he going to do now? I mean, this is not a good news. Are you asking me? He has to take the best decision for his life. He can't be playing with his life. And um, it's obvious that your brother is going to lose the throne. So, my son, start preparing yourself to ascend the throne. Mother, this is not a good news. What is he going to do? That's the only immediate action we have to take, and nothing else. We must save the throne, you know. Charles. Charles, why? Okay, um, okay, come on. My friends, true friends are like diamonds. They are very rare and true. Fake friends are like leaves. They are scattered everywhere. You know, I'm so lucky to have you. And I want to say thank you for everything. God bless you. You are welcome. I'm Mirabel. My prince. When I think of future, I picture us like two trees planted side by side, growing together, so strong and family, while our children sprouting like Sydney's. You know, life offers us many challenges, and I am willing to face them if you are ready. Mirabel, you know how we met. You know how our relationship started. I have been sincere and genuine to you. I have never for one day thought of taking advantage of you. I actually want to use this opportunity to open up to you. My beautiful dancer, will you be the mother of my children? Will you marry me? My prince, I have no response now. But I just want you to be patient with me. Just give me some time. I want to think about it, please. All right, sir. Uh, all right, no problem. No problem, ma'am. 
please um, don't forget to extend my greetings to your mom, okay? I will. All right then, I have to go. Mm -hmm. My prince, my prince. My prince, you are a kind man. You have a heart of gold. I have no reason to doubt your true love for me. But I just want you to be patient. Just give me some time to think about it. Okay? I just want you to be patient with me. I need to think about it and be sure that I truly want this. Okay? All right. Uh, now you understand you. Okay, my friends. Take care of yourself. I will. All right. I see. I'm a good Hi. Who brought all this? My priest Ken brought all these things for us. Wow! He's such a nice man. Ha. May the gods bless him. He say. May his pocket never dry. He say. Hey, hey, hey. Over, let's take them in. Let's take them in. Oh. Hey! Yes, yeah, so. <laughs> Now, wow. Okay, with everything you're saying here, let me carry this one. We're going. Oh, bless you. It's a kind one. I really need to be very careful. I have to think about it thoroughly before accepting his proposal. See him come out with you. Um, listen. I am sorry. He locked himself up in his room. It's obvious he didn't want to see you. But I, I want to talk to him. Maybe, maybe if I talk to him, uh, he will have a change of mind. Maybe, just let me go inside and talk to him. Please. I'm sorry. He's not going to work. I wish I can convince him to come and sort out things with you. Oh, you are his brother. You can talk to him. There is nothing I can do. Yeah, so that's it? So that's it? Like it's over? He's going to kill me like that? After keeping myself for him? Help me. I'm sorry. I can't do anything. Please. 